Hi guys, Steve Chilcote here. We're out cruising timber today on another lovely rainy Pennsylvania day. Um, I was hired to do this 80 acre piece, so I like to do one point sample for every uh, five acres, so I'm going to do 16 samples. But I want to stop and take a little film and get it on YouTube about what I do. This place was uh, cut several years ago and you can see the stumps and what's happening here as you can see there's lots of deer around and they don't let these stump sprouts come up they just nip them off every bit of new growth is chewed off of this tree and it's dying and uh, that's why you either need to fence the deer out or get rid of the deer so fortunately there's a lot of oak left in here. It still looks like a forest. They did a pretty nice logging job. There's no ruts. But as you can see, there's no regeneration. There's another stump sprout over there with nothing coming out of it. So what do we want to do? Um, in this particular case, what I'd like to do is get rid of all of the poor quality timber send it down to the pulp mill which is close by and then let the better timber grow to be 18 20 inches in diameter and then cut that but in order to regenerate a new oak stand you're going to have to fence that off or get rid of the deer now getting rid of deer on 80 acres is really tough because this area is actually a cwd area and i think you can get unlimited doe tags down here and yet everything's over browsed so it's a two-pronged approach to get deer numbers down to where trees can grow and that is to overwhelm them with food so they're not focusing all their browse on these stump sprouts and you can do that through supplemental feeding and food plots and you want to cut a regeneration cut that is so big they can't keep up with it all. So one way to go about this is just clear cut the whole thing. Or do a seed tree cut, leave 30 trees to the acre like that one. It's a real nice oak right there. Has a good crown on it. It'll make acorns and regenerate the place. Then you may get a lot of invasives in here. You may get, you might get trees come in. I, it's hard to say. You can't predict exactly what's going to grow here when you let the light in. So you let the light in, keep some nice seed trees, don't ever take your seed away completely, and then see what the, <clears throat> see what the birds bring and what's in the ground. There could be a lot of birch seed in the ground that we don't even know about that'll come up. And then when the stuff starts to come up, then you make your adjustments later. All right, so back to prism cruising. If you need a, a cruise for real estate, you need to buy real estate, sell land, let me know. Uh, just leave your information in the comments or get in touch with me through my website, chillcoatforester.com. And I'll see you next time.